Welcome to the time series smoothing tutorial for NumExcel. In this video, we'll demonstrate Brown's linear exponential smoothing function, a special form of the double exponential smoothing. We'll use the International Passengers Airline data as our sample. Let's begin. Select the cell E4 and type in the function LESMTH. Press the FX button on the left of the formula bar. Select the input data cell range. For the smoothing factor, we'll put 0.8 for now. For the forecast horizon, select 0 for in-sample smoothing. Then click OK. The function returned NA because we don't have enough data points yet. Copy the formula to the following cell below. Edit the formula of the E5 cell and update the input cells range to include all points available to date. Lock the beginning of the cell range. Then copy the formula to all the cells below it. Let's now do an out-of-sample forecast. Go to the end of the time series and copy the last cell to the one below. Edit the formula to update the referenced input data range. Remove empty cells from the range and lock the end of it. Next, copy the cell to all the cells below it for our multi-steps forecast. Now let's plot the smooth time series along with the forecast. The forecast captures the trend but not the seasonality. Lastly, we'll demonstrate the selection process for the value of the smoothing parameter alpha. In short, we want an alpha that minimizes the error between the smooth time series and the sample data. To measure the badness of fit, we shall use the sum of squared errors, or the SSE. Now, we need to compute the SSE for different alpha values between 0 0.1 to 0 0.9. We'll use a combination of Excel function SUMSQ and NumExcel TS sub function to calculate the SSE. TS sub computes the difference between two time series and returns a time series or an array. SUMSQ squares each value in the array and sums them all up. Now select the table area. Next, switch to the Data tab and select What If Analysis, then Data Table. In the column Input cell, enter the cell reference of alpha. Then click OK. The SSE for each alpha is shown now. Let's plot them and find the minimal value. Use the scatter plot for this. Reformat and we'll see that the best alpha value is 0 0.8. That is it for now. Thank you for watching.